Dan the man, you sent me this quad, and dude, we got to move quick. This thing is going to be a banger, brother. Let me give you my take because it's not going to be as simple as they're asking 179, we offer 179. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we need to move quick. We need to hit fast and hit hard. We need to big Willie style to Chris Rock crap out of this thing, folks, because this thing has been offered at a ridiculous price, okay? $179.9. Now, it has hit the market five days ago, but that is because the listing, it's not gone already because the listing agent is like fielding offers. And this thing has got a freaking bidding war, right? There is more offers coming on this thing. More, more gentlemen suitors are interested than in this property than Jada Pinkett Smith, okay? You know what I'm saying? It's very popular with the boys, okay? Now, the reason being, it's like four townhouses, okay? One, two, three, four, right? When I talk to you, I always talk to you guys about, uh, first of all, my favorite type of investment ever, the quad, the four-unit apartment building. Why? It's the most rent, most rental income checks you could possibly ever get with one residential mortgage, okay? That's my most favorite. Second thing, I like side-by-side -side layouts better than the up-down layouts, right? This is basically four single-family houses smashed together, okay? This is what you want. So, like, basically, Will and Jada could live here, and then August could live here, Tupac's ghost could live over here, and then Chris Rock has got to be real far away because he needs to separate himself from Will. You know what I'm saying? Now, joking aside, this thing is ridiculous, right? It's got tenants in there that's not like they're paying a little bit below market rent, but th that doesn't really matter because we need to move quick. You can't waste time uh, trying to think this one over because this one's going to go off the market immediately because either by design or uh, on purpose, this thing has been listed at the stupidest price I've ever seen, right? It makes no sense. Okay, so, like, just cruising through these photos. Let me get through the rest of the photos. I mean, all the units look fine, right? They actually look pretty good. That one actually looks nicer than I would have assumed, right? So when you do tenant turns, you're pretty much just painting, cleaning it up a little bit, and you're good to go, right? This thing is, like, a ridiculous deal, okay? Here's, here's why we need to move so quick, okay? 179.9. If I were to have listed this property, if I were to be selling this property, I would sell it for two fifty. I'd put it on the market right now at two fifty. That is seventy thousand dollars more than what they did. And if we get the rents up to market rent, I'd sell this bad boy for three hundred grand. That's one hundred twenty thousand dollars more. Okay, the rents are not even that low, right? The currently they're bringing five seventy five, five fifty, five seventy five, and six seventy five. The reason I'd sell this sucker for 300 k if we had market rents, because market rents are eight and a quarter on this thing, right? 3300 That is almost $40,000 coming in. You take your fixed and variable expense estimates, okay? After it's all said and done, this sucker's going to kick off almost $21,000 a year. Now, as far as price, if I were selling it, I would try to sell it for two fifty immediately today, if I had uh, rents already at market, it's a $300,000 quad. They listed it at one seventy nine nine. That's insane, right? Again, is it by design or incompetence? I don't know, okay? Sometimes people will list a property ridiculously low uh, in an effort to get an insane bidding war, right? Sometimes, like, egos take into play, and when buyers are afraid other buyers are going to snatch it from them, they bid it up, 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 and you get a higher price. Or... You know, there's a lot of real estate agents that just don't know what the hell they're doing. And maybe this real estate agent doesn't know what the hell they have. The market has been moving up. This is 2022. The market's been moving up so fast, people might be confused, might not know what's going on. Uh, either way, the market being so strong is going to protect that particular seller 
uh, from incompetence if that's the case or, again, if it's by design. Uh, they're going to get a high offer because I cannot have you offering 179. If you try to offer 179, I'm going to Will Smith the crap out of your face trying to waste my time because that's dumb. That doesn't matter. There's going to be so many people making offers at this thing, right? I want you to bid $45,000 over list price, right? Yeah, forty-five grand over. I think to have any chance in hell to take this sucker down, you need to bid two. Twenty-five. That is forty-five thousand dollars over list. But remember, that is still twenty-five grand less than what I would list this for. Exactly how it is today with the below market rents, and seventy-five thousand dollars less than what I think it's truly worth. If you have market rents, this is a friggin' burr deal without having to burr it out, right? You don't actually have to renovate anything. The thing is in great shape. It's just priced way inappropriately again whether that be by design or on purpose so if we can get lucky and pick it up for anything under 250 you're scoring a hell of a deal if you have to pay 250 that's what it's really worth you shouldn't have a problem paying 250 today because again the sucker's gonna kick off a bunch of cash at 250 worth 300 if you tried to sell it uh when the market rents were up right 825 a pop Worth that. So if you could pick this sucker up at 225, you just pulled off a bird deal without having to actually like do the hard part, right? So if we get lucky enough to get you the property at 225, again, I know you're like, wait, wait, you want me to bid 45k over list? Yeah, dude. It shouldn't have been listed at this price, right? Again, it's either incompetence or if it wasn't incompetence, it was done by design to get you to pay way over, to get you to pay 45 over. That I don't know. I'm not the listing agent. I'm not the seller. I'm not in their brain, but. I know value when I see it, and this thing is worth 250 today, 300 when rents are market rents. So if you get it for 225, you're in heck of a shape, right? That would be a long-term cash on cash of about 22%. And I didn't even tell you the address, right? It's 1245 East Avenue, Elyria. I love Elyria, folks. It's in Lorain County. Elyria is one of my favorite places to invest right now for several reasons. Number one. The government is way easier to deal with, okay? The Cleveland government, huh, they're getting a little crazy these days. Now, we just got these new lead laws uh, that are only affecting Cleveland, the city of Cleveland. You got to remember, folks, the city of Cleveland is about, like, I don't know, 350,000 people. Where Holton Wise operates, where Holton Wise analyzes properties, does property management, does maintenance, does construction, is the greater Cleveland area, right? We're dealing with a population of like almost 5 million. So 350,000 is just Cleveland, uh, but the total area we're operating, where you guys are watching my shows, seeing me talk about properties, is like 5 million. But everybody thinks the whole thing is Cleveland, right? If you're in New York, you're in New Jersey, you're in L.A., you're in Sacramento, you don't know the difference between... Elyria, Lorraine, Cleveland, Parma, Lakewood. To you, it's all Cleveland. I get it, right? You're looking at the map. You're like, I don't know. It's all Cleveland, right? Sometimes people ask me, like, yo, do you, uh, can you go look at this house for me in Cincinnati? I'm like, bro, that's like a four-hour drive from my market. I've never even been to Cincinnati. And they're like, duh, I don't know. I'm from California. It's all Ohio to me. There's, like, cows there, right? Cows and LeBron James. Like, that's what you guys think. I get it. That's, that's Cleveland. That's Ohio to you. You think cows, LeBron James, okay? We do have a decent amount of cows in Ohio, but, like, not in Cleveland. Anyway, moral of the story. In Cleveland itself, you need to know about these new lead paint laws. And I got a video in the notes below. If you're going to invest in the city of Cleveland, you need to watch that video because it explains to you the process of getting lead certified. Now, what I love is this property, you don't have to worry about that because it's not in the city of Cleveland. And I'm not saying getting lead certified is the end of the world. I'm just saying right now there is a lot of confusion on that lead certification process because only 7,000 of 90,000 Cleveland rentals have been lead certified. It's brand new. People are confused, okay? So what you don't want to do is buy a property in Cleveland that's not lead certified that you didn't do the proper due diligence on and then get hit with like a $40,000 lead certification bill. Now, that doesn't mean all of them are going to be like that, but like what you got to focus on is like the exterior and the windows, right? Uh, houses that already have vinyl siding and vinyl windows, they're going to be no big deal, right? A couple bucks, get it certified, no problem, move on. It's not going to affect anything. But what I'm seeing 
I'm seeing buyers out there have no idea what's going on with these lead certifications. They're making offers just based off of uh, numbers and projections. The listing agent and the seller don't tell them about the lead certification process in Cleveland because they don't even know it exists because, again, it's brand new. Last time I checked the numbers, again, 7,000 of 90,000 rental units are actually certified. That's a lot of people who don't know what the heck's going on. So if you pay full price for like a Cleveland duplex that's got wood windows and wood siding, and then it comes time to get it lead certified like six months down the road, you might get hit with a thirty, forty thousand dollar bill because, dude, to take care of it the right way, you got to replace every window in the house under lead safe standards. You got to vinyl side the thing. That's where people run into issues, right? So if you're buying Cleveland properties, you want to focus on stuff that's already vinyl sided, or and or already has vinyl windows, and of course built after 1978. You don't have to worry about it, right? Or if that's something you don't want to mess with, you could just buy stuff in Elyria. Don't have to mess with it at all. But the cool thing is. If for some reason those regulations ever made their way to this area, this is a great property that you don't have to mess with it. Why? These two right here, right? These two are brick siding, okay? Remember, this is where Will and Jada are living. And then over here, this is where August is living. No, August is probably living here, right? I don't remember. I think Tupac was living over here. But anyway, where Will and Jada are and where Tupac is, that's brick siding. No issues with lead paint. And then right here... You got Chris Rock. Chris Rock was way over here. He's hiding, right? And then you got the other guy, August. That's already vinyl-sided vinyl windows. So if those regulations ever come over uh, to this particular property, it's another one you don't have to mess with. So the moral of the story is I love everything about this property. You should be lucky to get it for $45,000 over list. It's worth two fifty dollars today. It's probably worth three hundred dollars tomorrow with market rents. The only thing you got to do is tell me how much you want to offer, and you need to get this thing signed immediately. I'm going to send this video to you, and then you need to tell me how much you want to offer. You probably want to go cash and try to refi it later because you're probably going to be competing with like 25 offers, right? Here's the deal. I ain't ever going to send you a video with a property this banging for this low of a price. So if you're like one of those guys that's like, oh, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Should I buy it? Should I not buy it? You ain't getting the fucking property, so like, don't waste anybody's time. Like, you need to move quick, right? Don't don't punch a gift horse in the mouth, if that's what they say. Like, this is the bag right here, right? People that are, like, looking at this property like, oh, I don't know. You know what those people are? Those are the people that are like Baker Mayfield, who get offered $30 million a year last year, and he's like, no, oh, I'm going to let my place speak for itself, so I get one of them $40 million a year contracts. Well, how'd that work out for Baker? Don't be like Baker, folks. Get the deal done. Be like Will. Take your shot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.